So I've entered the list of bugs discovered during the previous stream uh, into the issue tracker. I've assigned them for Monday. I'm trying to use temptation to work on them today or tomorrow. And so long as those bugs don't frustrate me too much, that should work, and I'll be able to get along with uh, doing the data we intended to do this morning. So, oh wait, I just realised we, we missed checking all the days, I think. Yeah, there's no zeros there. No zeros there. No zeros there. Right, here we go. One zero. Bloop. Let's get some of these windows closed. There we are. Okay, so time to add a new thing. Put warehouse floor here. And context dependent names should not have the ID on there, so let's make a note of that. Context dependent name should be used in sidebar to avoid pending ID to. Similarly named groups. That's a relatively easy fix, but I, I it's one of those things where I could fix it live, but I, I don't want to be getting distracted with it, uh, doing all that like I did this morning and this afternoon. Uh, where's that window going? Okay, I've still got to close some more windows. Close that one. And that one, and that one, and that one. Yeah, highlights archive and close that one as well. with for the name of the placeholder for storage sinking. Okay, and then we put groups in for each of these going up. So we need four new groups. So 
See, is turbo mode is one word or two? Wrong one. Uh, let's try to remember what's like. I know I can pull up turbo mode through the, the calculator, but try to remember how to open the codex. There we go. That's what I wanted to open. Turbo mode is two words. And state hall. Then root hall. So we're only going to storage here, and it's only one manifold. Why do we have a radio control unit shortage? Connector shortage. I think I've been over this several times previously, and it's because of an undersupply of deuterium ingots. Right, so we've got enough resources there. Resources there. Okay, so we have this big giant bank of silica and then it just stops Guessing from context, the silica is meant to go here. Now, why did I disconnect that? Because that seems like a very deliberate, in, like intentional thing. That's the uh, radio control unit supply. Well, uh, I can't remember what the reason was, so I'm just gonna plug them back in.
maybe it was a change of recipe thing. Uh, either way, that's resolved now. Okie dokie. Turbo motor. There's only one output, there's no interstitial production, uh, interstitial, whatever. There's no in between previous production going on, it's just straight up turbo motors going to storage. And we want two point eight one two five. Uh, not the rubber recipe. Yeah, there's an issue. Switching recipe doesn't change the icon list. Switching recipe doesn't change icon list. I mean, I, I know what the workaround is for that. It's just really annoying. Uh, nope, that's not it. Alright. Okay, we're good there. I think. Yep, those icons line up. Uh, there's nothing else to be done on this slot. Woo. Okay, just straight up production in here. Three pools, one's to storage, two going somewhere else. Now, is that cooling system or cooling unit? I always forget that when I haven't looked at it in a while. Cooling system. Double recipe selection, and I want to set uh, motor. Default to electric motor, and I'm just realizing the recipe icon list should display in here. The icon list should display in recipe selection dialog. Oh yeah, let's put turbo motor in as well. Uh, 
crap. Didn't I just put turbo motor in there? Fuel 75. Oh, I accidentally put it on rotors. Crap. Alright, well, the quickest way to fix that is to just edit the same file. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but first I'm going to, you know, put the actual amount back in. There we go. Recipe selection. Take the production out. There we go. Okay, okay. Seven point five going to storage. Is that annoying issue again? Six point five six two five. Second, does that actually get cut off? Hmm. Possible race condition going on there. Right, and twenty point two five. Going to Uh, cooling system. Oh, well, the cooling system um, thing's not built yet, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so some of the recipe, uh, some of the, not the recipe, some of the ingredients should have been taken off here. We have the motors listed in there. And there's too much crap in there for us to know at a glance if it's behaving as expected. Did I actually set the destination on that? There we go. I'm not going to bother doing the overflow thing. I'm going to have uh, stuff overflowing to... Uh to each other and enter the warehouse. Right, so we do have uh, some setup production going on here. We have wire and steel pipe. things, not the production things. Then we have three outputs. Two. 
storage. Turbo router. Two electromagnetic control rod. So the way we want to handle this is we want to put the output numbers in first. Uh, then we look at the requirements for wire, um, copper ingot, so on, and then just make sure that the signage is correct, which is pretty much what we did during the previous stream with the space elevator. So I need. Uh, Stay there on the default recipe. Good. Uh, the wire is being produced with what? Uh, Caterium ingot. We don't want to set a uh, collection or. Um, I know it's fuse wire. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to set a collection or a global level default for that, so we're going to set uh, the group level recipe up. And solid steel ingots should beyond the global default. Yep. That was um ironing it on yeah as well, that's good. Okay, so I think was it like five state over this floor? Oh not five, this floor, this manifold. So five state are there. Uh, this is an example of one of the things on the uh, issue tracker where I want to um, something that like let's see if I can put this on a half size of the screen. Uh, nope, that looks like us. Well, it's not too bad, but like that that is, that is like far too uh, big to read. Is that any better? Eh, no, I'll stop it full size. Alright. I'm going to put the thing on the to-do list to probably be an eventually level thing, not RRP2. Uh, do a web socket. Not, not web socket. Um, Post message thing such that the current view of a um, session can be rendered in a miniature form for streaming. So, like what I'm going on about there with that idea is all this junk in the side um, is only really necessary if I'm wanting to show people all the junk in the side. All that matters to display in this context is saying I am interacting with the calculator in the two storage manifold and I'm entering like the five stator. So it could just be as simple as um, having this like like only this text here in a single window uh, but haven't used like post message api or whichever other appropriate api it is to link what's going on in here with what's going on in um 
like to be displayed in OBS. Right. Uh, numbers. Yes. Oh, so, so this thing I won't go on about. Um, one of the features in the, in the issue tracker is the ability to turn off production uh, calculation for a given pool or group or collection. So in this case, had I been using the calculator from the start, there would have been a two motor pool in here. And currently, the only way in the UI to handle this no longer being used would be to set the output to zero. Uh, but like all of the inputs would still be flung at it, meaning anything after, you know, these two would be working at a deficit because some of the resources would be going here. So what we would want is to say like this bunch of production is inactive. Don't fling shit at it. Possibly skip over it in recalculation as well. Which uh, may or may not have an impact with the isolation boundaries feature, but uh, it remains to be seen whenever I get around to doing that feature. Anyway, two turbo mode. Uh, we want 15 state there. And two electromagnetic control rods. Okay, okay, so we're going to top up the wire. Oh, yeah, set the actual um, recipe there. Right, so two storage needs 40 wire. Turbo motor needs 120. Remote control rod needs 242.5. See, flung value should, uh, well, new flung out value should use token scan calculation string if possible. So we'll put this in as um, zero for now, just so I can have all of the values in. Cost me short term memory ain't good enough. Right, so it's forty one twenty two four two point five. Oh, now the calculator value wants to show up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just realizing a uh, steel pipe needs a um, steel ingot pool before it. Even though it's like in line production, it uh, isn't really designed for this kind of thing. So we want to go edit, save. Oh, what pill number was that? Eighty-two. 
It really bothers me that Find As You Type doesn't search inside text areas. Go. Oh, hang on a second. I want to go into the actual load editor thingy to do this bit. Uh, it's not there. I want to edit. It's down here. I want to edit. Uh, this wants to go before steel pipe. Steel pipe, we need 15. Plus 45. Plus 90.9375. Two hundred and twenty six point four oh six two five. I'm going to steel pipe. So we have all ingredients satisfied here, all satisfied here, all satisfied here. All satisfied here. Then, uh, I was wondering for a second why cutler ore is listed under steel ingots, and then I'm realizing, oh, of course it's got the configured for iron alloy ingots. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun. Right, now we can go double check the signage out here. Steel pipe should be doing 150.9375 and for wire 402.5. Yep. Steel ingots should be 226.4625. Needing 150.9375 thingies there. And then for wire needing 53.6 recurring and 13.416 recurring. Yep. All good. Let's get that saved. Let's see output. Oh yeah, I forgot to put um, the storage nonsense in. Apparently we're sending more state here than we need. Let's just 
do a quick check. So turbo motor, 2.8125. Uh, 2 so it needs 22.5 stator. Then if we, well, first of all, if we switch recipes. There we go. So if we stick the input in for motor, uh, input dialog doesn't have item search. Motor, 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 motor. There we are. Adding input doesn't work. Is it not working or is it erroring? So it saves, it just doesn't update the interface. Adding manual input doesn't trigger uh, refresh of the interface. Oh yeah, we're gonna put that number in, won't we? So any... Um, a state is required to make motors uh, will be discarded. It's showing as having needed one mortar. Oh, of course, I've typed in the wrong number. <laughs> there we go. Okie dokie, so it needs 7.03125 stata. So let's uh, well, let's check what's on the signage. It says 15. That's the wrong recipe. What else is state are used in? See, this is why I need the tree view in at some point. Saying state that is needed for item X. Uh, so if I pop open the wiki. Probably electromagnetic control rod. Yeah. Uh, well, one thing I can do quickly before I go fix the numbers, so I can pop over here. And I make sure it is set up the uh, correct recipe. Recipe. So 
we set that on here as well. Just saying when we add 4.6875 electromagnetic control rods to the input. If I can remember which blooming thing it's under. That discontinued item probably shouldn't be there. Okay, now status says what? Data says nothing. Am I sending Stata down when I don't need to? You're the piece I am, yes. So evidently I forgot to clean that up at some point. Okie dokie. So. Uh, let's pop up and save. Just straight up delete that. Good chance it'll fall over because it, it wasn't there. Uh, I've, I've got like input outputs uh, stuff being set in. So let's, uh, let's pop up in a text editor and uh, check it in there. So looking for any references to pool 80. There we go. Cause now the numbers need tinkering with again. does mean I will now be like overproducing um, steel ingot parts and uh, wire parts which will require some rebalancing work. Should have a surplus listed in here. The hundred and twenty. Let me do that. 
got minus 45. I've got calculations disappearing on load as well. Disappearing on load. But, like, it, it, this kind of thing, I thought I'd fixed it. Evidently, I'm missing it in some places. It is technically a data loss issue. Uh, but it's a non... Like, aside from the issue with um, the total remaining items showing the completely wrong value, um, it, calculations being resolved when they shouldn't isn't really that big of a deal. Right, so we've got a surplus of 67.5 steel ingots. And of course, uh, auto save kicks in. thing for Discord a second. Okie dokie, let's go delete some shit. Or not. Cause this is a lot of things to turn off. <laughs> um, yeah. So if I was actually like still intending to be using this save, like, like if I hadn't seen the Friday video, the next steps to be taking here would be this manifold gets deleted, or at least turned off, and then either some portions of this manifold get deleted if it turns out the numbers work out perfectly or some or, or like the next step, most probable thing is some portions of it get deleted and it gets reclocked or the entire thing gets reclocked and then the same for these uh, it would hopefully mean I could delete this little wire messy of uh, oh no this isn't production this is uh, redistribution so yeah, so all of the wire for everything um, comes up to the mezzanine and goes out, which is actually a perfect reflection of uh, what's configured here. We've got four outputs, uh, one of which is already um, cut off with this gap here. That's the um, old motor stator line, and then the second of which would end up being cut off is this one. There we go. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to go around and, and deleting everything because uh, it, it would take too long and it wouldn't be really a productive use of time. The manifolds are just going to uh, back up and things will go idle, which is okay. Uh, the next step after those would be popping over to uh, which L one of those is the cuterium ingot floor and the copper ingot floor, and then doing the same thing over at the steel uh, ingot parts. 
I say stealing it apart, the iron ingots uh, that would get reclocked. Uh, maybe the uh, coal uh, miners would get reclocked as well. on here go on dead stop. Am I actually using rotors and turbo motor or is that a vestigial of the previous production thingy? I guess they are actually being used so they just held up because of the electromagnetic control rod issue. Now those being a relatively small amount. Yeah 4.6875 uh, that'll be a Mark 1 belt going uh, all the way down there and either well actually no it could be going to one or two ways it'll either be going all the way down over across and then up or it'll be going out along and uh, across down there I mean I can see one item flinging over that's the radio control unit. Hmm, okay. So yeah, it probably is going all the way down and across. Okie dokie. So we have um, at least three pools. We have lots of pools, because we have lots of separate banks of screws. Uh, we don't have to do them all as separate pools, we could just do them as one um, one pool, and then just you know, reconfigure the outputs. Uh, I, I don't have to set up the pools to one-to-one -to -one match two manifolds. If I had like the the patience, I would do it that way, but right now I don't. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we want one pool for steel ingots. Another pool for steel beams. Let me go change the default screw recipe. There's a thought. Uh, maybe add option to split outputs to separate pools. So I could enter it all as one big pool, and then once I'm happy with the numbers, click the split button, and it would copy the numbers over. And depending on how safe I want to go with things, is either just set all the production to zero, just do nothing, or delete the pool. Yeah, the problem with that is I wouldn't have to go uh, make sure that the uh, destinations were all set up fine. Um, adding uh, the actual support for group level uh, production destination, uh, production playing things would help there because then uh, it would matter that the pool was gone. I wouldn't have to clean up pool destinations. I would just say, oh, well, you know, 
everything's going to the pool anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, we're going to do the screws as one giant thing. And then that should be all of that. So we want the three pools here. Up to storage. Right, yeah, we want to set the default rotor recipe as well. That needs a hundred and ninety five screw. We got two motor. Turbo motor, one nine five, nine five seven five, thirteen point seven five. Right, so we need seventeen point three seven five steel beam, and that is why people like steel screws. Nine point five steel ingot. So that goes to screws. Okay, I think that's good for now. Uh, the next thing to be doing in terms of data entry would be one of these two. It's probably going to be that one. Because typically the order of a build these facilities in is uh, that facility, that facility, and that facility, and that facility, because it's generally the order in which parts are needed. So we have uh, iron plates over here, rotors over here. Uh, computery things over here, and then Kateriumy things over here. So, yeah, I think we're all good. 
So let's get that saved because we did some signage corrections, I think. I might be confusing it with earlier day. <laughs> let's get the JSON document saved as well. So, uh, I might yawn again later tonight, uh, but probably not. Um, if I'm going to be doing anything satisfactory related later tonight, it's because I, I get uh, inspired to work on some of the tickets that are scheduled for next week. So, that's going to be all for now. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.